Continuing to fill questions for you, Samilia, a student asking from within our group chat, is it better before my dedicated to do NBME 19 just as a benchmark to see how well I'm doing and what should I focus on? Thanks. Now, of course, I've preached in many of my prior YouTube clips going through NBMEs 20 through 30. So the students ask about NBME 19, okay? So I've talked about holding off until you finish UWorld to do NBMEs 20 to 30. So could you do NBME, NBME 19 or the earlier NBMEs? Okay, what's my view on doing the NBMEs throughout your prep, okay? I'll give you a very solid answer here. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. So the students ask me at NBME 19. My view is that it's not necessary, okay? So yes, as I've talked about in many of my prior YouTube clips, what I want you to do as a general sequence is to get through all of UWorld, okay? And then you're going to do NBMEs 20 through 21 offline. If your percentage is greater than 60-ish percent, you can proceed with the other offline NBMEs 22 to 24. You're going to do free 120, then you're going to do 25 through 30. You're going to sit the US simile. If your percentages on 20, 21 are under 60-ish percent, your scores are real shit. We need to going back to UWorld incorrects, not a second pass to UWorld, just UWorld incorrects. That's a very uh, concise, very broad uh, discussion point for the moment. As I've said, I've made many prior clips talking about this. For step two, after you finish UWorld, you're going to do six through eight offline. Uh, sorry, first you're going to do the clinical master's series forms offline, then six through eight, then free 120, then a double pass of the clinical master's series forms, then nine through 12 online, okay? So the students asked about NBME 19 for step one, and what about the earlier NBMEs? Could you Take any of those throughout your prep, like while you're doing UWorld prior to going into the NBMEs 20 through 30. And for 2CK, could you do, uh, let's say, NBME 4, there is no NBME 5. Could you do NBME 4 or earlier offline while you're doing UWorld? And as I've said, I don't think it's necessary. We simply have copious uh, content for you to get through. Uh, as I've already laid out all the clinical master series, all the NBME material, it's sufficient. Anytime I would ever recommend a student or uh, potentially broach the possibility of a student doing uh, NBME 19 and earlier is if he or she has literally exhausted all forms already, okay? If there's been a situation where uh, he or she's already sat the US Simile, has already gone through 20 through 30, okay, then we could look at 19 and earlier. Um, or a situation where students come to me, never sat the US Simile before, but with really fucking shit scores, rather than just doing all of UWorld, he or she's already gone through the NBME exams, essentially wasted them, okay? As I've already fucking said, you're going to finish UWorld first to build your foundation before you go into the bulk of the NBME exams. So uh, my consolidated point here is the earlier NBME exams, 19 earlier for step one, four and earlier for 2CK, I don't see them as necessary to do while you're going through UWorld. We can pretty much gauge where you're sitting just based on your UWorld percentages. That's fine. And uh, regardless of how shitty or well you're doing in UWorld, we still want you to continue through the QBank anyway. And then we're going to test out your NBME scores when we get there. You know the deal. Do you make more content? If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.